solved a mixed number times a mixed number equation using improper fractions. I'm going to start with 2 and 1 half times 3 and 2 fourths. Okay, now to change one of these numbers into an improper fraction, I need to first look at the number and figure out how many pieces do I have in each hole. I know I'm going to have two pieces in each hole because the denominator in my fraction always tells me how many pieces are in a hole, and that is two. Now I need to determine how many whole numbers do I have. If I have two holes, and there are two pieces in each hole, I know that I have four pieces total. However, since my numerator is one, I know that I have one additional piece as well. So how many pieces do I have altogether? I have five pieces. And how many pieces are in each hole? Two. That's my denominator. My denominator is always how many pieces are in a hole. So now let's look at the second number, mixed number. How many pieces are in each hole? There are four because the denominator tells us there are four pieces in each hole. How many holes do I have? I have three holes with four pieces in each hole. And how many remaining pieces do I have left to add? The numerator always tells me how many remaining pieces I have, and I have two remaining pieces. So now I need to count up all of my pieces. I have 4, 8, 12, and 14. So I have 14 total pieces, and how many pieces are in each hole? 4. Now my last step in this improper um, fraction strategy is to take my two improper fractions and now multiply them. Unlike addition and subtraction, when you multiply or divide, the denominator does change. In addition and subtraction, you need to find a common denominator, but in multiplication, you just multiply going straight across. So 2 times 4 is 8. I know that will be my denominator. 14 times 5 is the problem that I have left. I'm going to solve this over here. 5 times 4 is 20. Carry the 2. 5 plus 2 is 70. So my answer is 70 eighths. However, I'm not done yet because now I need to convert my answer into a mixed number. I'm going to do that by dividing the denominator into the numerator. 8 cannot go into 7. I cannot divide or multiply 8 by a number to get 7. But I can multiply 8 by a number to get close to 70. Eight times eight is 64. I have six left or remaining. So the remainder goes up as my numerator and my denominator or how many pieces in a whole stays the same. So eight and six eighths is my answer.